artist, I'm so pumped up about our episode today. We're gonna get our hearts pumping and our feet moving. So grab your water bottles, your art supplies, and your sneakers, and let's enter the world of Roe's paint box. Come on. It's Roe's world, the place to be, to share your creativity. Jump in and dance, create and play. Imagination soar away. So grab your brush. And your world too. So grab your tools and step right. Hi everyone, come in and join me and my friend Caroline. I just got back from a great workout with my friend Whitney from Liven Up Fitness. I want to show you what I did. So before we start painting, we're gonna get our bodies fit. Are you ready to see what we did? Yeah! yeah! I can't wait to show you. So you ready to meet my special friend Whitney from Liven Up Fitness? Here she is. Come on in, Whitney. Hey, Rowie. How are you? Good. How are you? Thanks for Good. coming today. Thank you. You look great for just getting a workout oh, in. Oh, thanks. Are you guys excited to get warmed up before you start painting today? Yeah! Awesome. I want to start with your head, so let's start those neck rolls. Let's warm it up. We're going to get that blood flowing. Perfect. Now let's move to those arms. I know you're nice and close, but try to stagger those arms and get little circles going for me. And those wrists too, because wrists need to be loose when we paint, so you guys can make some really cool paintings over there, right? That's right. Awesome. I want you guys to lean forward and try to touch your toes nice and deep, and then come back up for me. All right, stand up just for a second, and we're gonna loosen up those knees and ankles, get some dance moves in, get that blood flowing. Perfect. Are you guys feeling warm? Yeah. Yes! Are you ready to paint and learn some stuff? Yeah! yeah. Alright, so how about you guys sit down? We're going to do some fun things before we start painting. Do you know how much sugar is in a can of soda? Some people like to drink soda. If you were drinking soda, that's how much sugar you'd be drinking in one can of soda. This is how much sugar you'd be drinking in one bottle of water. Wow. What do you think about that, Whitney? I would drink that one, totally. Who would drink that? Who would drink this? <laughs> uh, right? That's a lot of sugar. So let's do a little science experiment. Here is an egg that I soaked in soda, and here is an egg that I soaked in water, okay? So let's see what happens to the egg soaked in soda. So I'm gonna need a volunteer for this. Let's try to brush those eggs. Let's try to brush that brown stain off of there. Is the brown stain coming off? Not really, right? So let's see, let's compare these eggs. Which one would you rather drink? Soda or water? Water, right? This is what happens to your teeth. Even after you brush it, look what it looks like. Isn't that gross? And this is what it looks like with water. This is pretty white, isn't it? Not only is that egg brown because of the sugar, but if that egg was actually a human, it wouldn't be able to exercise and have fun and play because sugar actually makes you really tired. And you guys want to go outside and play every day, right? Yeah. So water is usually the best route without a doubt. Are you guys ready to paint? Yeah! Yeah, but before we do, let's say goodbye to Whitney. She helped us so much today learning about water and fitness. So thank you, Whitney, so much thank for visiting. You. Yeah, bye. bye! Okay, so today we're gonna paint a water droplet. Since we've been talking about the benefits of water and how good it is for our body, we're gonna paint a big water droplet on our canvas. We have two brushes in the water, a big brush and a small brush. So we're gonna take the big brush out of the water and if you're using crayons or pencil, you can use whatever you have at home to do the water droplet painting. We're just gonna mix a light color. So I'm gonna do gray. I'm gonna take a little bit of black, tiny bit of black, and a tiny bit of white, and I'm gonna make that water droplet shape on my canvas. I'm just gonna use the side of my paintbrush. So I'm gonna just take my paintbrush, go down the side, just like that for the first shape, and then we're gonna go down the other side. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wash off our brush and dry it off. We'll come back to the water droplet in a little bit. We're gonna do our outside color. So you're gonna pick the color that you like the best. So I picked black because I thought it would make the water droplets stand out. So I'm gonna paint all around my water droplet with black, but you can pick any color you want. Once you get your background color filled in, we're gonna go back inside the water droplet. I wanted to make a horizon line and then do all the water underneath. So you're gonna get really creative here. I'm gonna do the gray line again. I'm gonna make my horizon line, just like that. And then anything under my horizon line is gonna be water. So I'm gonna paint that blue, okay? You can do bright blue or you can do light blue. So you can mix the blue and the white together. And then as you're painting the water, what you want to think about is what kind of waterscape you want to make. Do you want it to be an ocean? Do you want it to be a river? Do you want it to be a pond? What would you put if it was an ocean? What, would you put animals in it? I would just put a shark fin. Oh, shark? That'd be cool. I'm gonna let my water dry and then come back to it and add those animals. So then I'm gonna go above my horizon line and I'm gonna start adding the sky because inside the water droplet, I want to have sky and I want to have water and I want to have sun. Okay, so I'm gonna just change it to a light blue. And I'm gonna just leave a little area right here where I can just put a sun because sun's important for us. We wanna be out in the sun exercising. The sun helps everything grow. So I definitely want to put a sun in there. Just a big sun. Right at the horizon line. Okay, so now I have the sky, I have the sun, and then I have some water down here. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add some details. So I'm gonna make a light pink right here. And I love ocean scenes, so I'm gonna make a little jellyfish. Make sure your painting's dry at the bottom, though, so you can put your animals on. I'm gonna use my small brush for all the details. This is a jellyfish. Okay, so you wanna fill your bottom with some ocean plants or river life. And then you're gonna go back up towards the horizon where the sun and the sky are. And you can put some little landforms here. I just put some brown right at the horizon. And then I put some trees. I put palm trees. All right, so lots of details you want to add to your water droplet. Anything that's in the sun and the sky. All around the water droplet, I added tiny little dots going around to kind of clean up my lines around the water droplet, just like that. And I just used white. If you wanted to use the bottom of your paintbrush, though, you could use the bottom of your paintbrush and just add the little dots like that. Gives you a nice little dot. Or you can use another color and kind of just add an outline around it. And then your last thing that you have to do, you should do this with all of your paintings, is sign it. So you wanna sign it proudly when you're happy with it. And make sure you have all your details the way you like it. And then you have your water droplet paint. I can't wait to see what you guys did at home. Share it with me at Rowie's Paint Box. I look forward to seeing you next time in the world of Rowie's Paint Box.